Hi there, it's Tank Girl, and I'm here with Steven Seaman of Sony. What do you do these days? Are you still like I, a marketing guru? Yeah, I just tell a good story. Yes, and sure and with the fortunate thing is I have great products to talk about, so there's always <laughs> stories. Right on. So, I interviewed Steven last year, and we talked at the time about the, the Z1 tablet, Z1 phone, uh, and here we are next year, one year forwards, and you have a Z2 phone and a Z2 tablet, right. and also an M2. So, tell, tell me a little bit. Um, last year I talked a lot to you about the design language, how much I loved it, and how you guys are really getting to push that kind of premium vibe to your products. I see this pushed even further this year. Well, it, that's true. You know, and a good thing to, to point out is that we're not departing from the things we established at that time. It's really evolving all those things. So one of those is the design language of the product. Still going very much with the omnibalance design, but some subtleties to evolve that. So you see that you still have that symmetry all around, not only with the phone, but of course with the tablet. Yeah. And, and even when you look at the other product that we've announced, the Xperia M2, a, a more of a mid-priced device, sure. you still have that premium look to it. It seems to me like you're literally iterating on this design, kind of polishing, refining, finding the sweet spot with it. Yeah, so we're taking a good thing, we just keep making it better, and that, and that starts with the design. So tell me, one of the things that I personally have a, a, a Z1S that's recording right now, and I love it, but the display, I feel, is not quite up to Sony standard. I know you've made something uh, on the Z2 to change that. Tell well, me about I it. think the first thing to point out is that we have IPS technology. That makes sense. So, so better viewing angles. Yes. Uh, now we have the triluminous display that you find in the Z1, and you have the etched reality picture engine that, that upscales the, the detail when you need that. Right. But what we're also introducing in with the Z2 smartphone and with the Xperia Z2 tablet is that you now have what we call live color LED. And the live color LED is going to introduce red and green phosphor into okay. the blue LED elements to give you first a more uniform brightness in the display, but the, the ultimate goal there is to give you even better color reproduction. Yeah, it looks phenomenal. I mean, you know, not, not that the displays before didn't look great, but I think that they, there was room for improvement, sure. and now I feel like this is it, you hit the sweet spot. Well, you know, we said we had the best of Sony last year, so maybe this is the better best of Sony. <laughs> well, you know, a year goes by. <laughs> I also noticed you made the bezel smaller, which is a huge deal, yes. so it's 5.2 inches. 5.2 right? versus 5 inches on the Xperia Z1 and the Z1S. And in terms of camera, it's the same module, but now you're pushing 4K video. Yeah, recording. so you still have the, the G lens and the Exmor RS sensor and all that, and the Snapdragon processor, which yeah. really, you know, it's it deals along with that. Correct? Yeah, you have the Snapdragon 800, but now you do have 4K video recording capability That's amazing. as well. Yeah, it's pretty so, cool. So, uh, if you want to play that 4K back on your TV, what do you do? Can you output uh, through the so MHL? MHL. MHL? So, this supports MHL 3.0. What you need for that bandwidth. So yes, it just does support that. Does the tablet Z2 support MHL as well? Um, not because it, it doesn't have the the the, the 4K reporting capability. Really so the, I don't know if it has the MHL or not. But you can, you, you can you can fling it over to your TV, right? You yeah, you have the, the D Wi DLNA, yeah, and mirror casting, and all that. You have that wirelessly. And actually, you know, at the you know, 720 or 1080p group, but that's probably the way you want to go. Right? So this is pretty much what you'd expect a modern smartphone in 2014 to have. Snapdragon 800, but you, where you're pushing really to me is the 4K. I mean, nobody yes. else is doing this. You know, you're, you're like at the, the top of tip of the iceberg, top of the, the hill, whatever you want to call it. We, uh, well, you, well, you see how we, we're kind of leading the way with our 4K TVs and 4K camcorders. You know, with, with, with the smartphone for us as kind of a center, uh, sure. the hub to a lot of experiences, and you know, that's the next logical step. It's hard to find 4K material, so why not create your own, right? <laughs> you know, that's what I was thinking, about. make your own movie. Right. There are not enough movies out there yet, make your own. So tell us a little bit really quickly, because I want to wrap this up. Uh, what about the Z2? So what's changed from the Z1 tablet to the Z2 tablet? Uh, well, first, I think that the big thing we talked about is the screen technology already. Yes, so that's common between the smartphone and the tablet. The second thing is the digital noise canceling capability, right. with, which both of these devices have again. So if you use it with the proper accessory, which we've also introduced here, uh -huh. there's a, a, well. a DNC microphone and the headphones. And the reason that we can keep this device so small is that, of course, you have no battery in here now because the smartphone and the right. tablet has that. But also all the digital noise signal processing done in the phone. is in the phone yeah. now, too. So you have a little port here that feeds the ambient noise, but then the phone and the tablet 
process that encounters with the opposing sound waves. So in, front, in terms of, um, you've improved the display with IPS, but in terms of size and resolution, it's the same. You have, yes, yeah, it's, it's the same resolution, the, the 12, uh, 12, 10, with whatever, the, yeah. whatever that is, but it's a 1080, 1080p video, of course, and, and it's a 10.1 inch and screen. And you've gone to Snapdragon 800. That's yes, another. Snapdragon 800, but also, you know, thanks, something very important to point out is that this is waterproof, right. and it's the thinnest and lightest is water, waterproof. Than last year? Yes, uh -huh. the, the hair thinner. Oh, so the, yes. this now is at, at uh, 6.4 millimeters, so a quarter of an inch. It's insane. I mean, yeah. like, and the other thing you don't get, you don't realize, it's so light. Like, it's unreal, yeah. and it feels amazing. Yeah, it's very comfortable like in hand. Oh, something, a little, just a, a geeky kind of thing, is you now have NFC sensor in the front and the back. Oh, so you can, like, tap the front or the back. Yeah. Look at this thing. It's gorgeous. And more geekiness, you have uh, 802.11 AC in here, too, oh, nice. for the fastest throughput. You're going to have to send me one of these. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thanks so much for your time, Stephen. I really appreciate it. Anytime, Miriam. You, you too. Thank have you. Have a great show. All right. Cheers.